hello everyone happy easter i uh, hope you had a, lo a lovely day yesterday had lots of chocolate eggs and learnt about jesus coming back to life today we're going to find out a little bit about how jesus friends got to know that he was alive again it's not like today where you can just look at the news or um, look at your phone and find out what's happening in the world they didn't know they were confused they saw that Jesus had died and been crucified and they were hearing these reports that he'd come back to life but they didn't know whether to believe it or not today I'm going to read to you from the big bible storybook but if you'd like to look at it from the bible we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 and we're also going to be looking at Mark chapter 16 verses 9 to 20. If you'd like to while we're listening to the story um, you can you can watch this again and get involved. We've made two faces. We've made a happy face and a sad face and you can watch this again and put them in at the right points of the story. Cleopas was very sad. Jesus was dead. Cleopas had loved Jesus. He loved to listen to his words and do what Jesus said. But now Jesus was dead and Cleopas would never see him again. As Cleopas and his friend were walking along the road, somebody else joined them. They didn't recognise this person. Why so sad, he asked. Cleopas and his friend explained that Jesus, their friend, had been killed. Talking about it made them even sadder. Cleopas reached a village called Emmaus. They were going to have dinner there and stay overnight. So they invited the stranger to stay with them and he said he would. How do you think Cleopas felt now? As the stranger started eating, he lifted a piece of bread and he broke it and he blessed it, just like Jesus used to. Suddenly Cleopas realised who the stranger was. It was Jesus! They were very excited. But then Jesus disappeared just like that. Cleopas and his friends were terribly excited. They jumped up and ran all the way back to Jerusalem. Later that Sunday. Most of the followers of Jesus were feeling sad. They didn't know that Jesus was alive again. Jesus is alive, Mary told them happily. Isn't it wonderful? But the followers did not believe Mary. You're dreaming, they said. Just then, two other followers rushed into the room. It was Cleopas and his friend. Guess who we've just seen, they shouted. On our way home, we met a man and invited him to stay with us. Then as we thanked God for the food we were about to eat, we suddenly realised who it was. It was Jesus. We've run all the way back here to tell you this. Isn't it wonderful news? But the followers still didn't believe that Jesus was alive. But later on that evening, Jesus himself arrived as they were eating a meal. Why didn't you believe what you were told? He asked. Now the followers knew that it was true. Jesus was alive. They'd seen him for themselves. They all said, thank you to God. And that's a picture of Jesus being with all the followers. If you'd like to um, remember this story, you might want to ice some biscuits to help you remember. And you can listen to the story again. We've got our happy face. It's how everyone felt once they actually had seen Jesus and our sad face for how they felt before they knew it was true that Jesus had come back to life. Happy Easter.